On a sunny day, Chris, a tall man in a black cap, strolls through San Francisco. To walk through the city as an architect without sight, your mind is really active, picking up all sorts of really incredible environmental cues all around you. Sana, a young woman in sunglasses and a headscarf, walks through a square. As an architecture student, when I walk through a city, I like to read in between the lines. She passes ornate buildings and modern skyscrapers. Architecture has given me a lens to view the world through. One of the first things I learned as a student of architecture was learning to look up, to study the world around me. And that's important for everyone. Chris stands at a large office window. The American Institute of Architects presents An Architect's Story. Chris Downey. It was very unexpected. I lost my sight in surgery to remove a brain tumor. Chris is interviewed. An essential part of dealing with my blindness was embracing the challenge. That's sort of that leap of faith you have to take as a designer, as an architect. You never know what the answer is, but you have to believe in the process. Within a month of losing my sight, I went back to the office to start figuring it out. He passes cubicles with new technologies that I can take architectural drawings and print them in tactile form. When I'm reading a floor plan of a building, my mind is actively thinking about all the materials, the composition, the warmth of sun coming through the window, all sorts of things that were always there, available to my mind. But in reading drawings with my eyes, I was more passive. He reads with his fingertips. I'm always very careful to say that I'm without sight, not without vision. My idea of vision is to see with more than just your eyes. Chris Downey designed the Independent Living Resource Center San Francisco, a nonprofit organization that provides services, training, and advocacy for people with disabilities. Maria Richardson. This really accessible in a way that our consumers who are in wheelchairs or walkers or use canes, they can feel comfortable. Sana Jahani, architecture student. Chris taught me that you shouldn't be designing for the average man or the average woman. That doesn't exist. Anything can happen to anyone that changes their physical limitations. Chris works with Sana. The great thing about teaching is being around students. It's great to be able to step out of the profession and to have fresh new perspectives. My advice to students today is to really think about architecture, to see possibilities, to really study things. My vision for architecture is pretty ambitious. It's about so much more than just making a beautiful building. It's about making connections, extending community and bringing more people together. So to look up is to really appreciate the environment around you and to look into unexpected places and to see things or experience things that you might otherwise miss out on. Chris Downey is one of the few practicing architects without sight in the world and is a pioneer in the field of architectural design for the visually impaired. Currently, Chris is working on the design of the new headquarters for the Lighthouse for the Blind and Visually Impaired in San Francisco. Sana is completing her BA in architecture from University of California, Berkeley, and plans to attend graduate school. Share what inspires you to look up. Hashtag, I look up. The American Institute of Architects.